Mr. Baez is on the way. Thank you. Do you guys need anything? I'm good right now. I'm going to get up. All right. Thank you. Do you need anything, Cole? Thanks. All right. How do you spell this last name? B-A-N-Z. Hard one. To answer your other question, um, from that picture, I cut my hair. It was really short even last year. I just started growing it back out this year, so... Yes, about that. Okay. <laughs> as far as Mr. Bias? He's at um, the office. He's at the office. Okay. okay, so we have a bit of time. Okay, that's fine. So, and and we, appreciate that. We uh, went through the formalities of this, mm -hmm. make sure everything's above board, and I'm, like I said before, that's what you're going to get here. Okay? We just would request the same back. You understand what you're arresting for today? Yes. Okay. May I step out for a minute? Absolutely. And I'll be back. Yeah. Are you sure you don't have anything drink? I'm fine, thank you. Handcuff key. Where's my handcuff key? Uh, I'm moving out. It's going to be the pawn shop right now. <laughs> oh, boy. It's been a long day. It has been. How was my dad this morning? Um, in our time. Yeah. Honestly. My mom, I saw from the media and got a chance to hear him talking to my mom. I spoke to him last night and this morning for just a quick second before he left, so. Yeah, I talked to him this morning for a little bit. Um, he was with Mark and, you know, he was really struggling. I mean, you can imagine he was having a hard time. Uh, you know, he was being called in to, to essentially provide testimony to indict you, mm -hmm. to at least. And he was really struggling with that. Yeah. And, uh, and I felt bad for him, to be honest with you. I truly did. Well, I haven't told him last night. I know he was subpoenaed, and under the law, he had to answer whatever questions were asked, and I told him to do what he had to do at that point. And if he didn't, he'd be held in contempt of court. And I don't want to see that happen, so. What did he say? He just hugged me and told me that he loved me, and I know he was struggling with it even last night, so. I think it was probably even worse this morning. Yeah. I could see that with the little bit that I saw from the media, from the pictures and um, the little bit of footage that they had. So. Were you guys watching on TV? No, we watched online a little bit. Really? Okay. I try to stay away from the TV as much as possible, at least with the internet. I can scroll through, read what I want, and then just get rid of it that much faster. So. Are you anxious about today at all? Um, I have been. I mean, this is something, honestly, we've been preparing for from the beginning just because of words that were directly spoken from Yuri Malich and also from uh, Sergeant Allen. They were saying that this is what they were planning on doing from the very beginning, from that first day. So they wrote me off within the first couple hours. So uh, I don't know if that's true. That was the direct words that they pretty much gave to myself, and even they had said that to my parents. So, I mean, I'm not trying to say something derogatory towards someone, but... Yeah, okay. We're just, we're just, we're just talking. Yeah. We're just chatting. So, that was the only time they ever made any effort to try to talk to me one-on-one. -on -one. And... No, it was kind of difficult. Yeah. It was kind of difficult considering... Well, considering, um, obviously, in light of everything that's going on and the fact yeah. that you've been arrested for other things, it makes it a little more difficult to sit down and even talk to you. Mm -hmm. It's not that we haven't wanted to. Yeah. Um, but certainly. I do have counsel, and that's something that, you know, my attorney's always been a phone call away. And it shouldn't have taken it getting to this point, you know, three months in. Has, you, has your attorney ever told you that we would like to speak to you? And we had agreed, him and I together, that we would all sit down together, him and I, and you guys, and, you know, we entertain I, I, whatever questions you have and discuss things. I actually things thought that we made it pretty clear mm -hmm. that, you know, we wanted to talk to you. I mean, obviously, we can't come to you and ask you. Yeah, but, understandably. You know, I thought that you were aware that if you wanted to talk to, to anybody, mm -hmm. that all you got to do was simply ask. Yeah, well, I know it goes both ways on that, and I guess it would have needed to come from me. I should have been the one to, I guess, come forward with it. But, you know, we did open up that door to law enforcement before. 
when Sergeant Allen is making a big deal saying, well, we want to talk to her. When can we talk to her? And he's saying, well, the door's open. Mm, I don't believe he ever told us the door's open. I mean, well, maybe not to you directly, but I know to Sergeant Allen, I was sitting there even one of the times that he spoke with him. So I've heard the words come out of his mouth, even myself, directed to other people that maybe didn't either relay the message or took it a different way. So I don't know. I think the lack of communication has put people in opposite corners when everybody has the same goal is to find Kaylee. Do you think the matter could have been resolved a little differently? Absolutely, in a lot of different aspects. And that's a conversation that I've had not only with my attorney, but with my family. So, I mean, we all still feel, I as a mom, I know in my gut there's the feeling as a parent, you know certain things about your child, you can feel that connection. And I still have that feeling, that presence. I know that she's alive. Whether you have a bucket load of evidence downstairs that contradicts that and says otherwise, or all you have is speculation, well, or, or nothing at all. I mean, whatever it is, if there's still that chance with all of these tips that have come through, I know that it's been I know that a lot have been discredited, but... I ran them down, and... Is every... And we have more than speculation. Is every tip and, and that's every lead to follow up directly. On. Yeah. That we have more than speculation. We have a lot, or else we wouldn't be to this point. Mm -hmm. A lot. Well, I've said, I've said the same thing to them, that, you know, they said that we're at the end of a hallway, and I'm thinking we're at the end of a hallway and there's two doors. Which door are we going to go through? Or, I guess, this is, you know, we're at this point, and... We are at this point. We're the, well, the final step is which door is locked. We are well beyond where we were before. Mm -hmm. I mean, those, those issues are gone, okay? And when we refer to we're at the end of the hallway, I think you were know, you, you well aware of what hallway we're talking about. Do you understand that? Um, well, so there's no question, I guess. You can specify that at this point, or what your perspective is on that. You have a second? Absolutely. Can we come right back? Yeah, that's fine. You plan on running off? I'm not going anywhere. I gotta stretch out a little bit. I'm not as young as I used to be. <laughs> yeah. No, oh, I thought you were gonna say something smart. No, I was gonna ask if that was your Dr. Pepper or Dr. Mountain Dew or. I actually tried to give it to her. I'm, and she didn't want to. You want? Fine. I no, don't I just drink don't soda. So. Shall we share it? We can. <laughs> Two straws or just sure. <laughs> Absolutely. You want that or not? Because if you don't, no, your mom probably has one. She probably has one, but I'm not going to be with my mom probably. So uh, I'm pretty sure you're not going to be with your mom when you leave here. I mean, we don't want to mislead you there. That's, you're not misleading me at all. Which unless is why your mom I, runs me off the road on the way out of here, then you may share a car trip. Down that's here. why I told my mom to go home and not to come here. She wanted to come here. Yes. So I she mean, she knew you were coming here eventually. Um, I was the one that was telling her that I was coming here eventually, just from the and way you had enough perception to turn the flashers on. I, that's, I applaud you for that. You did? The only one. She didn't know how to put her flashers on. It was crazy. It's right in the center part of the I've been dash. to a lot of vehicle takedowns. That was similar to one. It was ridiculous. Well, I figured I'd help her out a little bit and help out whoever was behind her so they wouldn't hit her. I missed that. <laughs> I missed that. 